Well, Heather and I is going to go in and check our sap buckets. We ended up checking it. We emptied them the night before so we could get a fresh uh, batch because we hadn't checked them for a long time. But we are just able to get in there the last couple of days. So we emptied them the day before because there's a lot of flies and stuff in there. And there was some moss that they were starting to, to go funky in the, in the juice. So uh, they're starting to get, well, use your imagination. So, anyways, we ended up dumping out the liquid and uh, the day before, so we went in last night, and that one tree is giving us over a gallon a day. So we'll see what we got today, we'll see if we got the same thing, so we will uh, get heading in there on the ATV. This is as far as we go with the bike, and then we have to walk that way, maybe quarter mile, half mile, I guess, through the bush. So we're going to get trekking here. It looks like the one tree that normally give us a half a gallon the other day, overnight, it didn't do it this time. Do you want me to carry that, Heather? Okay, well, I'm going to, we're going to walk here, and I'm going to see if I can find that trail again. I got to go in here, and I got to take a right. Head down through here a ways. Are you okay, babe? I don't want to whip you with branches. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Bust this one off here. See, we, I came in here last night, I think, in this way. Hope you folks can see this. I have to get over and I got to find the, that orange flagging tape. We flagged it this winter to know where. Holy mackerel. There's a bloody goat path in here. Not even a goat path, in fact. So we're heading over towards this, over towards this birch tree here. I think we're just about on the trail, right about here somewhere, correct? We should see orange flagging tapes over there, but I don't recall going underneath. I'll find it. I don't remember if it's here or if it's over further. Right yes, yes. Thanks, Heather. So it is on the other side of this birch tree. This birch tree that's leaning here. We're just gonna walk up through here and we'll find our way through. Oh, see that? There's a lot of that woodpecker art, or some people call it sap sucker. This shows up on the birch trees. Lots of it in here, isn't there, Heather? Oh, yeah. It's just riddled. Look at that. Look at this old one over here. This tree has just been riddled with it. From what I understand, those birds poke holes in the bark like this, and then they drink the sap out of it. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I thought you might might find that interesting, folks. But that's what she is there. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's get on our trail, Heather. It's over here. I don't want to whip you with this. Right here. You see that orange flagging tape up there on this birch tree? There, in fact. Oh, don't. Didn't mean to. Did you get whipped, Heather? No. Good. So we are through here. I have to walk through here a little ways. There's so much winter green in here. It's insane. Unreally. Um. To the left. To the right. To the right. 
Yep, got to go over here. That's broken from the snowmobile here. And we went, remember we were going underneath this this winter. Yeah, it's broken, laying down. I'm colorblind anyways, Heather. I have a hard time seeing that. But, uh, but I see that one up there in front of me. That was easy to see. Once they get faded a little bit, I can see that flagging tape. But until it fades, it's a little tough for me to see. We're not even halfway through this walk to get to where we're going. Now you can see that orange ribbon way up ahead on the tree, I think. It is up over, well you can see this one up here. Uh, here. It's hard to see because it looks different through the, through the camera here. Yeah, the lens is off to the side on this camera, but anyways, I can see where I'm going, and then they go right up through here. Hey, this fell down just, we didn't walk over that last night, did we? Maybe we walked around it. What's that? I think so. I can see more ribbon up there where we flag that straight ahead right there I do believe we lost even more snow today there was snow in here still last night was there not yep. yesterday I mean yeah, yeah a little further in north. okay I can see the ribbon up there Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then I just follow our tracks here in the snow where we walked. This isn't right? Sure gets cool in here, don't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna walk straight through, Heather. We're gonna get the one up there and then we're gonna, you know what? We will just go. We'll head over to the other one as soon as we get over this tree here. Ah, we'll go now. Let's go through here now. What do you figure? Okay. The leader. Oh my goodness. Well. You're in trouble if I'm the leader. <laughs> you can see the pails. Perhaps way over. Over, over, over. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there, you can see them on the trees. Right here. Let's go see. They don't look like there's much in there. You know that? <coughs> you okay, Heather? <coughs> yeah, sure. We're gonna try to pick a dry spot to walk here. This would be brutal walking out in the winter. This time of the year, it's not bad at all. Yeah, there's barely anything in these buckets. So we could come, now they're probably too high as well, I'm sure, but. Yeah, there's really nothing in them, Heather. Might be too early in here yet. There might not be enough sun in there because there's just, there's that much in there. You see there's just that much in there. Yeah. No, it's not even worth it, babe. This one over here we'll get though. Oh yeah. This one's, uh, I mean, I'm sure the sap buckets are probably too high. Oh, I 
No. But That's okay. Can you hold that babe, please? Yes. That's all. Hold on. Sorry. That's all there is. Still better than nothing, right? Ah, no need to strain it, right? No. Oh, helps if I get it in the bucket. I was trying to see where the camera was pointing. <laughs> Good thing we're not relying on this stuff. <laughs> well. Hmm. Pouring one out for the... <laughs> for the ones lost. One for us, three for the animals. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go this way, Heather. Okay. Do a loop just like we do in the winter on the snow machines. How does that sound? Okay. Fat boy like me needs the exercise. <laughs> it might be the pollen off the trees making you cough. Need a plate of snow, do you? Maybe. Hmm. This snow is kind of nasty, though. It does. There's a lot of other stuff mixed with that snow. I'm going this way. Yeah. I'm just wearing shoes. Oh, hey, Heather. Would you like some Graham M&Ms? <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd offer. Well, it was very nice. Okay, well, little trail snack. I spoil, <laughs> I spoil you. You do, you do. So I'm not sure how far this in is in here. Quarter mile. Wouldn't be a half mile, that's for sure. Okay, here we got to walk this board, remember, this log, remember? Mm, I don't walk it very well. Close your eyes and walk it like you're 100 feet up in the air on a steel beam. Oh, you make it? I just hopped off it because I can't. I'm the clumsiest person <laughs> okay. tried to. You're clumsy, Smurf? I am. I'm far over. Yeah, well, this is a pretty good walk, isn't it? It is. We just got a camera alert from the house, so. The turkeys are probably, turkeys or chicken or the dogs out on the front step. We're using our cell phone to record this, folks. And anytime we get some kind of an alert, it sends us it. I haven't even watching where the, uh, I haven't even been watching where the ribbons are. Right up there. Oh, right, okay. No, yeah, okay. I was just, I was in, uh, what do you call it? Mode? Yeah, auto mode. Yeah. I was just wandering. Oh yeah, I will. I should've went on the other side of that, eh? Okay. I did this last night, didn't I? I'm gonna come down here and go through. Yeah, I should've come out right here. Yeah, that's okay. Where is that again? Hey, right there. Okay. Right up there, that orange flagging tape. This used to be an old road years and years ago, but this road has not been used in many moons. There's actually trees growing up on it now. Jack pine trees. Now you see we have some young birch here that is just starting to lose its dark birch, or the dark bark. Once this dark stuff falls off, there's the white birch underneath it, but it has to lose that dark bark first. The dark arf, 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 first. My color blindness is really good for hunting, for seeing different animals. It's not so good following flagging tape. But now they're getting a, a bit of a packed trail in here. You can see where I've where we've walked in here. It's a lot better now. Let me 
see there's a chunk of flagging tape right up there. Doesn't take us too long to walk that. You okay still, Heather? You still doing okay? Good. This uh, undergrowth is uh, a little tough to walk in, isn't it? I think I'm going to go through here. This is the trail here. So why not use it? I was looking for a shortcut, but there is no real shortcuts. Not in this kind of stuff. So you're going to come in here and pick some wintergreen, Heather? Oh yeah, for sure. Look at, look at I want to show them. I want to show them how much of it. This is all wintergreen. Look at this. And it grows all year round. Want to taste that? See how it is? Bitter? Or is it not bad? That stuff's a bit bitter, but... Yeah, you want to get the tender stuff with the really um, shiny leaves. It's a little shinier. Or yeah, that's a berry. Is it a white berry? They're right. totally poisonous. Don't eat them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Did it taste like wintergreen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be a little white berry, right? They're red. Red? Red. They're usually... You'll yeah. see them red, pink, yes. white. Yes. They're good. Yeah, but that is where we get our wintergreen. You can smell it all through here. I know, it's so good. Mm. Here, have a berry. Have a berry? Mm. Oh. Are you teasing me? That's what the little berries look like. There's, oh, this one has a bunch. Mmm. Good. No, you go. I'm enough. They're getting in my mouth. Oh, you like it? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Hey! Let's get going. And the little pussy willows are all out nicely. They're all fluffy. No shortage of places to wander up here, let me tell you. No shortage at all. <clears throat> A fern, thank you. Yeah. Now we are going to... <laughs> ah. We're going to take a right and go down through here again, Heather. You went out that way last night and I was like, hmm. Yeah. Not a good idea. Yeah. Snow's too deep there, yeah. But if we wander down through here. I remember the road that used to be in along here. When I was a kid. The bike is right over there. Now look at this. We have, you see what this is? This is a little pine tree growing right here that somehow got bent over. Something stepped on it and it's growing out of this old stump. Yeah. Okay, let's get to that bike. We brought old faithful in here. I had to fix a tube this year. I had a tube go bad on that front of that bike. If the tires get any thinner, we'll be able to see the air through them. But for now, they're not too bad, I guess. <coughs> Are you okay, Heather, with that big heavy pail? I don't know. <laughs> I might need. Got a whole cup full. I might need the assistance in carrying it. Now, let's see if this thing will start, because this starter is getting bad on this thing. Let me see. In reverse.
are not going to be poked in the back. Oh, yeah. We're doing her. We're doing it. I'm going to use low range. Beautiful evening. Watch your head. That's the one I got whipped on, I think, coming in. Yeah. Now, can we make it up where we had a problem last night and the night before going up there? We had to take a run at it, remember? Yeah. And even then, we got stuck. Right through this little bit of a snow spot here. Yeah. I'm just gonna take my time to see if I can get through here. That's it right there. And then there's another one over yonder there. Right there hanging on the tree. There you go. Right through there. So we're going to get these unloaded. I mean, we're going to get these emptied. And we shall be right back, folks. All right, we managed to get a little bit out here. Not too much. There was barely anything in these containers, but barely anything is still better than nothing, right? Not really looking where I'm going here. I'm just guessing we're doing okay. Okay, now let's switch this and go forward now. Okay. Low range, here we go. something was crawling on my leg with a pull cord rubbing on it. I was thinking, hey, that's weird. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Now there's another bucket up here on the left. No need to pull it off the road, really. Nobody comes through here. It's pretty much I mean, it's our property, so not too many people are going to be ripping through here. Yeah, it's not much. Not much in there. I'm going to hand Heather the cloth here. Just set it right on the ground, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the other way. I did. Put the funnel in first. Oh. <laughs> no, don't even. I did it right the one time, not on camera. And mm -hmm. I get on camera and I'm like, don't uh -huh. mm -hmm. Seven Cecil, enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get this off here. Well, did I not get it right the first time? Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, he did, but Heather world, sometimes that don't matter.
try living in the other world. I do every day. <coughs> I don't mind it so much. You're there. Just a bystander. Innocent bystander. Got caught up in your web. You did. <laughs> just so <laughs> Okie dokie. I hope it picks up. I mean, the other day there was lots coming out of there, but... We did have a cold snap for a little bit. Maybe that slowed it down. Still not much in there, eh? No. no. But that's okay. Maybe we could have just brought in our one-gallon containers. I'll put the cloth back in my pocket. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Thanks. Are you okay? You. See if this thing will start here. Keys on. Chokes off. Hmm. Hit the button with my finger here. Give it a little bit of choke here. Okay. I'm gonna have to go through this carburetor. I think it's got gummed up from sitting all winter. Always did have a little bit of a spit to it though. That was part turkey. Oh, oh, oh I felt that. I don't dare go through that snow over there. Not with a two-wheel drive bike. Oh, I'll cut through the bush here again. I want to take this one kind of head on here a bit. I can see a black fly in the eye. Black fly? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're starting. Melts out on the roads that run north and south, where the sun can get to them. But the roads that run east and west, it's hard for the sun to get into to melt them out. That's what goes on. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now we go up here a little ways, and then we take a right. There's no real road or trail in there. I just kind of found one and went for it. I think it's in here, right? I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, I see we got our trail broke down a little bit in here. Yeah, it's down in through here. There's a log here. I got to run over, so I'll slow down there. Bucket straight ahead. It don't look like much in that bucket either, Heather. Yeah. That's okay. It's a nice ride. It's a nice little walk. Yes. You get to hang out with me. I, I, know. <laughs> I do get to do that all day anyway, so. Lucky yeah. you. I know. It's like winning the lottery for you. Well, <laughs> That's probably why you don't buy tickets anymore, right? Yeah. Once once you win the big big draw, well, what's, yeah, well, what's the point of uh, yeah. buying tickets for these little $23 million draws? Yeah. True. There's not even anything in here, babe. It's not worth taking. Okay. See that? Bit. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what thing's going to happen? Most of the cloth is going to absorb it, probably. Most of it? Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I'm going to get this off of here.
There is a bit in it, just not very much. Well, I figure it back here, may as well. Oh, yeah. Sure. You get 16 flies in it, they're just going to drink all that in no time at all. Woo! <laughs> just think, it only takes 110 gallons to make one gallon of syrup, Heather, of this stuff. What do you think of that? Well, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, maybe another 10 years, we'll be able to get, we'll start the hard boil. <laughs> I think you left half of it on the, on the rag. No, no, we're doing good. For what? I was thinking that you were shooting in front of It's okay. I want to come in and clean all these little trees up with the, with the ATV and the trailer. All these dead stuff that's laying on the ground. Some of it might be still good for firewood yet. Some of it, though, you end up sharpening your chain more than it's worth it. Is if they've been laying on the ground too long, the uh, what happens is the uh, sand splashes up on them from the rain. Can you climb on there, Heather? We're ready to go. I'm going to idle this up a bit here. There, that's better. Yeah, until I say that, then it idles back down again. There. Idle her up a bit more. Mm, that's a bit too much, eh? Over there. I think that'll be good there. Take a back up turn right there. What do you think? Pretty good? Yeah. Doing good? Not gonna stab you thing in the back? No. It's telling me that's as far as it wants to go. Yeah. So I'll pull ahead a bit. And I'll back up again. Two wheel drive, eh? That's our trail there. That's where we want to go in between those two jack pine here. There's another little jack pine growing right there. Right there, you can see it. Yeah. One more bucket to check. That's the one that gave us a gallon last night, but I don't think we're going to get no gallon out of it tonight. No. Not by the look of it. normally go straight to go home but we're going to take a left here and go in and check out our sap bucket. There's a bit in there. It's not as much as there was yesterday though by any means. Not much at all. Oh, there's more than I thought. Yeah, there is more than I thought. No, but still, not too bad though. It's quarter full, that. Well. Thank you, little tree. Yeah, and it's a smaller tree than the rest, and it's but it's the sun can get to it more though. That's the thing. There, there's that much in there. Not too bad. 
Okay, so I'm going to take this and set this down here. I am going to give you this cloth out of my pocket. Here you go, Heather. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me when you're ready. Are you ready for the big pour? I am. Oh, there's a moth too. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the one that gave us a gallon. Well, it filled up this bucket. So whatever this bucket is, that's more than a gallon. Oh. Flew away. Like flying out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Put this one down in there. Yeah, that moth. I want to see if I can get it out of there. Just shake the cloth off once that drips all the way through. Yeah, just shake the cloth. It'll be gone. Um, no? Uh, Stuck to it? Yeah. Fly, be free. Here. Did you get it? It's gone? Yes. You get that. So what'd you get in there? You see? Not much. I guess that's okay, right? Yeah. I'm gonna kick him in the butt. We did kind of get skunk though on it tonight. We did. It wasn't as good as it was yesterday. No. Kind of let us let us down there. It did. Kind of dropped the ball. Man, this thing. Can we go straight through that snow and turn? I think I'm going to drive right around this if I can. Oh yeah, no problem at all. Turn here and head right back. Well, I think we're gonna. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Not a problem. 